Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So today we are going to be doing mission four of our Operation Sandstorm campaign. And um, so in the last mission, we managed to take out a Scud emplacement. And so now we are going to take out the Apache um, and try to do close air support with it. Now, I am not very good at the Apache. If you've followed any of this stuff, I'm not very good with uh, any, of the, any of the aircraft. But um, even worse with the Apache. So I expect this to probably be a one-way trip. Um, but we're going to have fun because it's a new module. Uh, it's a very exciting module. And I used to be in the Army, so the Apache is near and dear to my heart. All right, thank you much. We will uh, see you in game. All right, everyone, we are in, so we're going to go ahead and get started up here. Close our window. A nice thing about the Apache is that even an idiot like me has figured out how to turn it on. It is so nice to have such a simple startup procedure. And full disclosure, I have not read the manual which should scare my uh, co-pilot gunner up there. Right. Engine two. Got engine two going up now. Turn on our brightness here. Blood light, some instrument. There we go. second to stabilize. Yeah, master warning, that's fine. Turn that off, close that up. Now let's do our bore sight. good enough and I want to be the air pirates so we're gonna change our, uh, our livery request rearming I like to set up my tads here zoom our parking brake. Yeah. So now we're the air pirates with our skull and swords. I think we're all set here. Let's take off slowly. I'm 
not hit our guy over here. That would be bad. Just gonna go ahead and get going. Nice. Easy peasy. Alright, we're gonna head towards our front lines. Should be over here where all the smoke is. We should have a buddy with us, but I'm not sure where he is. Looks like nobody today. All right, that's fine. Uh, so we're just headed this way. 42-ish. George set up here. Pausing no part. Good. Let's close this menu. These are our dudes that we're flying over. Let's take a look at where we're headed. Get some markers to 40. Gonna be fighting soon, I guess. I think those are our guys right there. Careful not to get too embattled in this. So we're going to actually head towards 267.
And the whole reason we're going to do this is just to try to give us a better line of sight on some of these targets. Because I'm just, I'm just concerned that I'm going to get myself up too high or something and then shot at and then shot down. I'm very proficient at getting shot down. Like I said earlier, this is probably a one-way trip. guys over that way. I want to let them get kind of down from the mountain a little bit. I think that they're up. Yeah, they're up on that mountain. So what they're going to do is they're going to come down, and when they're coming down, that should be a good opportunity for us to light them up. I hope. see them. What direction would they be in? They would be 211. Right here-ish. There they are. Another shot. Engaging. Oh, it's going underneath that thing. Uh, no dice. Roger, 
ceasefire. Uh oh, gotta get out of here. Don't get hit by a missile. At least we were low enough this time to not get annihilated. We gotta get out of here. We are way too close. back to the weapon page and see what we got for weapons. Uh, we still got a lot. That's not one of my own guys, but it might be. Oh, shit. Whoops. I need to get better at figuring what, what the bad guys look like. Rifle. No, you're not going to shoot? Okay, thank you. Well, I feel bad, I just blew up one of my own dudes. Good effects on target. And bounty slip. Target is stored. Roger engaging. Fire rifle. Hit him or no? Firing. You did not hit him. This is bad. Getting out of here. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I have no cover and concealment here. And we accidentally killed one of our buddies. Because I thought that that SAM site was the SAM site that was shooting at me, like they had a mobile SAM, but apparently the tanks have a, a missile launcher system. learning new things. I'm just surprised I'm not completely dead yet. Alright, buddy. Do this again.
Please be a bad tank. Yeah, alright. Give him another one. Shack. Need the other tank. I don't want to crash. We also need to get closer to this guy. I think that's one of ours though, M60. This is really hard. I have no idea who's on whose team. don't look like ours, so we'll engage, engage it. Probably too far away. Yeah, those don't look like Abrams, but I could be wrong. think those are mine. Or I don't think those are theirs, sorry. Pretty sure I had 315.
I have no idea if that's mine or not. They're not mine. They're they're mine. Don't shoot them. Don't shoot them, please. where I saw them in here. Oh shit. Get out of here. I'm getting shot at. Get out of here. Get low. Get out of here. Ooh. How bad is it? Oh, we're still, we're still in the, we're still good. Just a, uh oh. Now we're not good. Oh no. Okay. We're coming in for a crash. God, this is gonna make me dizzy. All right, buddy, we're gonna we're gonna survive this. Promise. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> we're not dead. We're not dead. Uh, turn off. Oh, we crash landed. All right, well, I'm gonna take this as a not a complete failure. <laughs> They're uh, just APU must be on within 20 seconds. Starting APU, well, my APU might be busted, huh? Well, on this, I guess we'll uh, we'll end here, but we did survive. Uh, we can probably hitch a ride with the APC on the way back, and, um, we'll catch you in debrief. Alright, welcome to debrief. It looks like, uh, we had a total of one aircraft destroyed, 43 frontline units were destroyed, and three ground units were lost at objective areas. Um, I don't know if that's us, so let's go ahead and accept the results. So we lost a longbow. So, there's two things that could have happened here. Either we did actually get counted as being shot down and quite honestly I wouldn't 
I wouldn't uh, put it past it because I did lose the entire tail. But I was supposed to have a wingman, and there's a bug right now with this version of DCS Liberation, um, this particular campaign, that one of the one of the helicopter like landing areas um, is like on a, on a cliff or on, on like a an incline and your Apache can explode um, on load. So it's possible that that was our wingman and he didn't, he didn't make it. He detonated on load. Um, other than that, it looks like we lost a couple of, of units, we lost a tank and some other things and they lost. Um, it looks like, uh, it looks like we lost slightly more than they did. Um, but a lot of this, like this M2 heavy machine gun stuff, I'm not as worried about um, because we just keep replacing with Abrams. So we're going to click OK and see what what happened. And we did move up a little bit, so we are finally, you know, on these, these entities here. Um, so in the next mission, I think we'll continue to try to do close air support with the Apache. It's a lot of fun, and I kind of want to get better at it. So we're going to go ahead and buy as many... Apaches as we can, and um, let's make sure that our forces are on an aggressive posturing, which is fine. And um, I guess this is where we will end it. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.